We're going to try one more time. All right, Spirit, show me the situation. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Sun, the Fool, that is a small offer. Incoming to the Queen of Cups. It will be victorious and end in an optimistic, hopeful new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Prosperity and abundance in this new beginning. The Hierophant. The Ace of Wands. That is a passionate love offer as well as commitment, marriage, BTC. Two of Wands, Judgment, Queen of Swords, and the Empress. A decision's been made. Four of Wands, Happy Family Life, The Chariot. Knight of Pentacles. Show us more. Five of Wands. The conflict. We don't see the conflict. That's what we're trying to find out, Spirit. The Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles, things coming to fruition. The Tower has occurred, Fate's on our side, We're seeing the fruits of our labor, Knight of Cups, the Star, that's an emotional offer incoming, Wish Fulfillment. Ten of Swords and Justice. It's overcoming that Ten of Swords. Or Nine of Pentacles. Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. Moving onto calmer waters from the third party and entering his Emperor State. King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. That's a decision or a stalemate. What's, what's this King of Pentacles decision? What's he deciding on? Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles. And the Moon. Waiting, resting, surrender, generosity, and the revealing of secrets. What is this? A decision to reveal information, putting the swords down, winning at all costs. He's no longer trying to win at all costs. He's being more generous with information. About the devil energy? Six of Wands. 
Six of Cups. What is the devil here for? Five of Pentacles. He wants to reveal the nature of being left out in the cold. What does the King of Pentacles have to say? It's interesting. King of Cups. Why does the King of Pentacles get to decide? Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. So this King and Queen of Pentacles are the ones that decide whether we get the truth Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Lovers. Mental Prison. Authority. Are those Parents, we saw that there might be disapproval from parental figures, but if the mental prison is because of authority and authority over major decisions in love, then that makes more sense. That's why communication was impossible. The Hermit and Eight of, uh, eight of Wands. It could be that communication would be acting against family. Confirmation. Well, both of those cards are supposed to indicate a yes. I don't really take that as like a for sure thing though. I don't know. I'm not sure if I trust it all the way, but that's still seven of wands and ace of cups, defending a new beginning in love. The father figure in our previous reading Showed up as the King of Swords and the Hierophant, I'm pretty sure. And the King of Swords was the thing that indicated authority to us. Ten of Pentacles, though. It looks like... It looks like there's been hard work to transform the situation. But it's coming out favorable. Ten of Pentacles is all about stability and prosperity and happy family life, generational wealth, the hanged man, and the Nine of Pentacles. The world and the Two of Cups completing a cycle, coming into union, ending this pause, by rediscovering our independence. We did complete cycles today. Well, I'm not sure if this was just collective and I'm picking up on other people's energy more easily now, um, or if this is specifically for my Divine Masculine and his situation. Um, I can't confirm whether or not any of that happened or is true. But that's what came out. And it was similar situations all three times. Not the exact same cards, but thanks for watching.